of a position called whale, a high flying whale. It's a great body stretch. Um, it, it starts from over here. So most things you're mounting from here, this is going to mount over here by the head here. Okay. And because of that, when you fall, you're not falling this way. You're going to fall back this way. Over. Interesting. Head over here is this way. So the thing I told you about two feet from the concrete, you okay to step on you pretty good? No, no, no. It's the, there's a heat. Is, is reversed. So you got to switch around this time because she's falling away from you, your flyer is. So why is this dangerous? Because usually when you're falling this way, you have your hands to support your flyer. Uh -huh. When you're flying, when you're falling away, you don't have any extra legs back there. This is your last line of defense over here. So because of that, your flyer has to be really mindful of knowing how to fall. If there's a fall out of this position, you have to roll towards the mat and brace yourself. You can't just close your eyes and hope everything's going to be okay. Actively engage, feel the fear, face towards it, roll, face that fear, roll towards it, and protect yourself, okay? Okay, I'm starting by the head. This is the distance. Her feet are gonna, toes gonna be pointing for most people towards the lower back here. Toes here, not up here. Because the lower you go, the more your fly can really drape over your feet. And it makes it easier for you to balance, okay? okay. So for this one, she's not even gonna lift me up. I'm just gonna keep my body here. Her hands are gonna be free. We're gonna grab a hand. Oh, okay. So your feet are gonna go on my lower back. Mm -hmm. We're gonna connect hands here. Her legs are going to extend, but she's stretching my sacrum this way. So I'm pulling, I'm actively pulling. And this is a really good chest opener, sacrum opener. So this is one way to do it. Deep breath in, relax. If there's a fall, we let go, we turn, and I'm ready. Ooh. Okay? Get okay. you in the head there. <laughs> oh, another thing you have to be mindful of as a flyer, since your feet are this way, not only can you get hurt, but you could hurt your base. So what I just did was a good demonstration. You can easily kick your fly in the head because your feet are now towards your head. So that's something that not the flyer needs to be mindful of, okay? okay. So to deepen the stretch, um, you can walk. If this isn't deep enough for you yet, then you can slowly walk underneath the armpits and do the same thing. Feet and lower back. Now this arches your back a little more. You can grab it here. Same thing. Deep breath. Yeah, there's a fall. We let go. I'm going to turn towards the mat. Be careful of the, my base this face and protect myself there. Okay. All right, give it a try and ask